Today we're going to have a look at this pen. It's tiny and cute, and it was sent by Stig. Not the Stig. Stig. Thank you, Stig. And as we are doing shout-outs now, the video is dedicated to Stig. Thank you for sending me this. I, I appreciate it. This is a fun pen. It's made by Lan B2. That's a, uh, a Chinese uh, manufacturer of pens. I have reviewed Lan B2 pens before, but I haven't reviewed this. I found it fascinating, and uh, <clears throat> let's see what this is all about. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, let's start at the very top of this pen. All right, Chrome-colored finial, very reflective, kind of nice. Simple, has a little step down, that arrow clip looks slightly familiar. <coughs> Parker! And um, uh, then we have, right below that, we have this. It says space. There are three characters which I assume read Lan B2. And then it says 3009. All right. Then we have the center band, which is just chrome colored, there's nothing on there. And we have the barrel, which of course looks super tiny when it's capped. Come back to that in a second. Then we have the same type of finial at the bottom, so they have a little end cap, which has a small step down, and that's it. Now this is a small pen. It's tiny, I think it's about, yeah, it's about the size of my middle finger, you know, give or take. So, small pen, but that's how it was designed, because you pull this out, it's very reminiscent of the Otto Tasche, which I reviewed a while ago. So most of the pen actually rests in the barrel, you have a, a tiny, sorry, in the cap, you have a tiny barrel, and you're supposed to use this by posting it, posts very securely, and then you have your pen, you have your section, and you have one of the, the hooded nibs that I have seen on more Chinese pens, uh, which is very fine, very fine nib. And uh, that's it. And then when, when you use it like this, then you actually have a pretty normally sized pen because of the way it, it posts. So definitely a pocket pen, a uh, good clip, and because the clip is, is very, very usable, it's stiff, but it's, it's definitely usable. Uh, and then you, you can unscrew this, and there's a built-in converter, which I've also seen on a lot of Chinese pens. This is one of those um, um, aerometric type Oops, converters, which you operate by squeezing that bar. There's a little uh, rubber sack in there. You compress it, put in the ink, you let go of the bar, the sack decompresses and it draws up ink. That's pretty much all there's to it. So you have a, a, a cute little pocket pen. Uh, goes very well in the breast pocket of a shirt because it's so small so it won't stick out. Uh, people put these in their, their, their pockets of their trousers and such also known as pants, and um, uh, you, uh, uh, you, can, you can carry this around in a very, very convenient manner, which I think is, is a lot of fun. By the way, at the back there, that's the Lampy 2 logo, all right? So what do you have? Small pocket pen. Stig wrote in his note that he got five of these for a single figure, including shipping. So I don't have the seller. Don't ask me for the seller because I don't know. But look around on eBay and usually you, you, you find these kinds of deals. You may have to look around for a bit. Sometimes they don't come up. Sometimes they do. Sometimes it's a completely different brand. It's not uh, Lamy 2, but suddenly it's Hero or Lamy, uh, sorry, um, Lamy or uh, Jin Hao, something like that. And they have the same pen, okay? So you have to look around a bit, but then you get this. It's all metal, which is kind of nice. It, it feels pretty robust. So let's look at what I like about it. You, you can't argue with the affordability of this pen. Also, I got it out of the... it wasn't a box, but I mean, I got it out of the envelope, stick, sent it in. Put it in ink, inked it up, didn't even clean it. It wrote straight away. It's a fine line, but it's a consistent line, it doesn't run dry, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, for a pen at this price, I think that is that's definitely impressive. I like pocket pens. I'm not a, an overwhelming fan of pocket pens, but they clearly have their use, useful little pens, I like that, uh, and this is a fun one. It's also not 100% an Oto Tashi. It looks like it, but it is not 100% the same pen, so that's also nice. Similar concept, but not exactly the same, um, so that's nice too. 
affordability, pocketability, you can easily carry this around and it writes. I think that's, that's pretty much what it has going for it. What do I not like so much? Well, the lacquer work is, a, you know, is nice, but it's not perfect. As you can see, I mean, I assume you can see there's a little speck there. Uh, that speck, that's just the lacquer having chipped off. So within a few weeks of owning it, the lacquer already starts to chip off. You know what? You're buying an inexpensive pen. Live with it. In a way, I think it's kind of cute because I think, especially for a pocket pen, that adds character. You know, you've been using it, you've been carrying it around. That's it. The one thing, and that's something, I, I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it always does. It really rotates. So when capped, it's not that snug. I mean, it won't accidentally come out. I really have to exert quite some pressure to, to make this pop out of there. But the rotation is a bit of an issue. Now, there it's mainly aesthetic. It becomes more of an issue when you post with it and you write with it. Because, even as you write, this rotates. It can rotate. And that's a bit annoying because suddenly the, the clip is at the bottom and it's pressing into your hand. I think that's a little bit annoying. Um, but again, you have to appreciate that you're buying a very inexpensive pen and it writes. So, is it really a big deal? You just have to live with it, okay? Apart from that, I think it's pretty neat. The one thing I don't like so much beyond what I mentioned is the, the aerometric converters. They, they often, you often have issues drawing up ink. You can't really fill them completely, usually. Uh, they're also pretty crappy metal because I can dent this between my fingers. Um, the one tip is that you can slide off this, this sleeve or collar and then you can just, I'm not going to do that now because there's ink in it, but you can squeeze this um, sack directly that compresses it more than the bar does and usually you, you end up with getting more ink in it. Still, it holds a reasonable amount of ink. Uh, it's a small sack, but that way you can fill it up almost all the way to the top and then you are really talking about a decent ink capacity especially given that it's such a fine nib, so it doesn't use a whole lot of ink. That's pretty much all there's to it. I think it's a cool little pen. It's, it's affordable, it's fun, and it does what it's supposed to do. So what more could you wish for? High resolution pictures of the pen will be on the website sbrebrown.com as well as measurements of the pen. Um, I again thank Stig for sending me the pen. I really appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful so far. Let's see how the pen writes. That's what's coming up next. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go. Oh, sorry, I wrote LAM, but I wanted to write LAN B2. Space 3009. The nib is unmarked, but clearly some sort of fine. Uh, the ink is Waterman Purple. As you can see, I, I tend to hold this pen pretty highly. You can also hold it down, uh, hold it a bit lower. And what's interesting is that this is really quite a pleasant nib. It's very fine, but it's not scratchy. It's really quite smooth, so I'm, I'm very impressed by that. Fast writing. Works well, doesn't run dry, very nice. Okay, wetness. So I just want to make sure I, I aligned that well with the paper. It's not a super wet writer, but it's by no means dry, so really good ink flow and, and straight out of the box too. Line variation. Not a whole lot, but there is a little bit. If you want to do reverse writing, you can, but you already start out with a fine nib, so I don't think that really makes a lot of sense. So, Stig, thanks a lot for sending me the pen. I appreciate it. Hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.